Hi guys, Steph here. Okie dokie, wait, what have we got for you here? Well, we've got a pen, to be quite honest with you. It's a manufacturer that doesn't need any introduction. There you go, that says it all. You can see, it comes in the original box, which is very nice indeed. Now, first of all, let's, if you look underneath here, there's a little compartment, which if we remove that you can see it's got the original instructions and warranty and if we take you to the back page and there we have it so there you go that's what's inside the box it's a generation fountain pen you can see it was bought I believe it is it's a pen shop in London and there you go let's date the pen well 98 okay so actually 22nd of the 12th hmm maybe someone was buying it for somebody for a Christmas present so this one nice and simply we can date to 98 although saying that I believe the the Mont Blanc generations were actually maybe brought out before that I'm not 100% sure I'm not a big uh, Mont Blanc Eficiado. so there we go let's open the case inside we've got this sort of foam back in here with the Mont Blanc name and the logo etc and there's the pen okay sat in the case so let's take it out let's pop the case to one side and there we have it what a lovely, lovely little pen. Well, when I say little, the size of it, it's actually 130, I think it's 139 millimetres capped. It's got a slight taper to the barrel, but sort of to the top there, what the thickest area, around about 11.5 millimetres in diameter. Now, the Mont Blanc, generation this model i believe they brought out in numerous sort of numerous vibrant colors obviously the traditional classic black color um they brought out a i think it was a burgundy a sort of reddy red sort of orange color a blue color i've also seen one in a lovely vibrant yellow and this one of course being in this lovely yeah maybe is it british racing green color but well, that's the that's the color of it a lovely this lovely green color now the pen comes with i believe 22 karat gold plated trim and you can see to the cap there the cap band it's got these two two cap bands on the bottom one if I keep it nice and still for you, it reads Mont Blanc, and then I think around the cap it says Generation. Okay, so let's keep turning it. So you've got the name of the pen on the cap band. There we go. There's the clip. Quite an unassuming sort of streamline Mont Blanc clip. And if you look to the top there, we've got this sort of, you know, the, the finial to the top is a slight angle. Okay. But to the very top there, there we go. Okay, so that's the, the Mont Blanc symbol, as most pens or the most Mont Blanc pens have to the cap. And then if we turn it round and show the end of the barrel, to the end of the barrel, it's just got this sort of, slightly domed green button with this gold gold plated ring to the end of the barrel there all in all superb condition excellent condition there's no wear or anything to the you know to the plate etc there's no scratches it's in gorgeous condition and in my opinion it may not have actually been inked 
it's such a clean pen. Now on these pens the cap is a push on push off clip. Let's show you the pen in sort of numerous different angles so you can see sort of most angles of the pen. Let's pop the cap down and take you up to the section. Now you can see to the to the end of the section there again we've got this sort of gold band and if I bring it slightly closer you can see these little sort of metal ridges they're actually the clutch for the cap or the clutch ring and you've got in between we've got this black black section let's take you further up and let's take you to the nib there as you can see a beautiful Mont Blanc 14 carats 585 gold nib a lovely design very attractive in my opinion and if we take give you a sideways version there a lovely nib let's show you underneath there you can see the section sort of angles towards the nib there as you can see everything is lovely and clean as I say I don't think the pen has actually been inked it's in beautiful beautiful condition okay so that's the nib for you so a lovely nib sorry a lovely nib and a lovely pen a lovely size as well for my large hands to write with unfortunately in this particular instance I'm not going to do you a writing sample because as I say I don't think the pen has been inked and I'll leave that pleasure to the new owner okay so whoever actually gets the pen they can decide do they keep it in their collection or do they do they use it as a daily writer let's open the pen up for you let's take the barrel off and you can see you've got this sort of brass section to the end of the feed there and as you can see we've got a Mont Blanc converter to the pen and actually while I'm actually showing you this let me if you see inside the converter there if I sort of let's give you the best view if I just move it slightly there you go you can see there we go you can see it there you can see that it's actually got a little spring inside the converter and some people will ask me what's that spring for Steph well nice and simply the spring is there to regulate the flow of the ink in the converter so it's not a broken part it's not broken off anywhere it's supposed to be in there but as I said a lovely pen lovely size lovely condition let's find a lovely home for this pen okay so a little bit shorter maybe than normal even for a nice Mont Blanc fountain pen but there we have it the Mont Blanc generation fountain pen as I say this one as you can see we're dating 1990s although I do believe they may have actually been sort of produced a little bit earlier than that but all in all great little pen so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget have you subscribed if not why not subscribe now and don't forget people we've still got a few problems out there in the world so you know you people out there and in, the, in the world please stay safe but for now I'll just say bye bye for now